Welcome to Oryx Learning. Today's lesson is on Unit 8, Congruence and Similarity, Lesson 7, Area and Perimeter of Similar Figures. If you know two figures are similar and you're given the area of both figures, how can you determine scale factor? If you would like to find out the answer to this question, please follow along and we'll revisit it at the end. If figure B is similar to figure A by a scale factor, then the perimeter of B is equal to the perimeter of A times the scale factor. So the perimeter of B equals the perimeter of A times the scale factor. If figure B is similar to figure A by a scale factor, then the area of B is equal to the area of A times the square of the scale factor. So the area of figure B equals the area of figure A times the scale factor squared. What is the scale factor from small to large similar figures below? Comparing the sides of the rectangles from big to small, the lengths would be 24 over 6, which reduces to 4, and the width would be 8 over 2, which also reduces to 4. Therefore, to get from one figure to the other, the smaller figure to the larger figure would have to be multiplied by 4, so the scale factor is 4. If the scale factor between two similar figures is 2, then the perimeter of the larger figure will be multiplied by which of the following? Remember, the perimeter, being a unit measure, gets multiplied by the same value as the scale factor. So in this case, 2. Find the perimeter of the smaller figure, given the two figures are similar. So as we can see, the perimeter of the larger figure is given as 45 centimeters. First, we must find the scale factor. Comparing the smaller figure to the bigger figure, we can compare the sides given as 3 over 9. 3 over 9 reduces to 1 third. So the scale factor is 1 third. If I multiply the perimeter of the larger figure by the scale factor, 45 times 1 third equals 15. So the perimeter of the smaller figure is 15 centimeters. Find the area of the larger triangle, given the figures are similar. Again, comparing the triangles from big to small, the base of the bigger triangle is 9, and the base of the smaller triangle is 2. 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. So the scale factor is 4 and a half. In order to find the area, we'll multiply the area of the smaller triangle by the scale factor squared. So 4 times 4.5 squared equals 81. And remember, area is a squared unit. The English Garden is a local crochet blanket maker. Usually, e.g., deals with baby blankets that have a perimeter of 380 centimeters. Business is now expanding into adult-sized blankets. The store would like to have the scale factor of the baby blanket to the adult blanket be 2 to 5. This means every 2 centimeters of the baby blanket, there would be 5 centimeters of the adult blanket. What is the perimeter of the adult size blanket? So our scale factor ratio is 2 over 5. The perimeter of the baby blanket compared to the perimeter of the adult blanket would have the same ratio of 2 to 5. So if we set up a proportion, 380 over x will equal 2 over 5. Cross multiplying, we get x times 2 equals 380 times 5, which gives us the equation 2x equals 1,900. Dividing both sides of the equation by 2, we get x equals 950. So the perimeter of the larger blanket, the adult blanket, will be 950 centimeters. 
Now back to our original question. If you know two figures are similar and you are given the area of both figures, how can you determine the scale factor? Write the ratio of the two areas and then take the square root of the ratio. So remember, when figure B is similar to figure A by a scale factor, then the perimeter of B is equal to the perimeter of A times the scale factor. The perimeter of B equals the perimeter of A times the scale factor. If figure B is similar to figure A by a scale factor, then the area of B is equal to the area of A times the square of the scale factor. So the area of figure B is equal to the area of figure A times the scale factor squared. That is our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed it.